Hello, everyone, and welcome to the program. This is Sunday Politics live on Channel's television. I'm Sean Kimbaloye in Lagos. Well, the battle for the Kogi West senatorial elections may have come to an end after the conclusion of the supplementary election yesterday. The candidate of the All Progressives Congress, Mr. Smart Adeyemi, has emerged winner of the Kogi West senatorial election. INEC returning officer Professor Lajide Lawal who announced the result of the poll said Mr. Adeyemi scored 88,737 votes to defeat Mr. Dino Melaye of the People's Democratic Party who got 62,133 votes. Yesterday's supplementary election was conducted in 33 polling units where the November the 16th rerun uh, supplementary poll was cancelled following cases of election violence and other offenses. The PDP candidate had petitioned INEC over the alleged electoral offenses and later followed with another petition seeking the cancellation of yesterday's supplementary election. The election may be over, but it appears the rivalry between these two men, Dino Melaye and Smart Ali Emi, uh, the men who have occupied the Kogi West Central seat at the Senate uh, for about 12 years now, is not over. That rivalry looks as, as though it is still there. Senator Dino Melaye has taken to the social media. You know, he has a good following there, and he has reacted to the outcome of the election. Not only that, Senator Dino Melai has dropped a new single, a new song, I mean to say, uh, on his Twitter page, as well as the way he does on his Instagram page to express his feelings about some of the political happenings in his state and in the country some of the times. Watch this. Uh, he released this one in Yoruba language. Watch. <laughs> Eni yon lo sokwe, oro re kole la tounche. Woli lo sokwe, aye re kole ni tu mo. Ki ye si yon lo nuko sobe. Aye lo sokwe, o kole ni lari. Eni yon lo sokwe, oro re kole la tounche. Woli lo sokwe, aye re kole ni tu mo. Ki ye si yon lo nuko sobe. That's Senator Dino Melaye. Uh, if Senator Dino Melaye is a music artist, is perhaps going to have had a full album now. Well, Senator Dino Melaye has always called Senator Smart Adeyemi his political wife. Why Senator Smart Adeyemi says Mr. Melaye is his political protege. We could not get Senator Dino Melaye to come on the program tonight. Don't forget, we had him last week, last week on the program where he said the election not, should not hold, the election of yesterday should not hold, uh, alleging a lot of issues. And he's gone to INEC early in the week to petition INEC on the reasons why the election should not stand. I had an, a telephone interview with Senator Dino Melaye earlier in the day. And take a listen to some of the issues he raised. Hello, good evening, Senator Dino Melaye. Yes, good evening. Yeah, I, I would like to get your reaction to the uh, conclusion of yesterday's election, uh, the supplementary election. How would you react to uh, the outcome of that election? First, I would say that there was no election. There was only an attempt to kill me. So I will give glory to God who is the supreme controller of the universe, that I am alive, is by his grace, is by his power. After five assassination attempts and fighting me both on land, on air, and then uh, spiritually, uh, I thank God that I'm alive. That is the most important thing because it wasn't about the election, it was about my life. So I thank God for his mercies and I thank the wonderful people of Kogi West Senatorial District and Nigeria indeed who have shown me a lot of love and affection. And I thank the people of Kogi for voting me. I won the election. And the victory of Smart Adeyemi is temporal and evaporative. And I can assure you that um, in a matter of uh, time, it will be overturned. Uh, it, it, it will be overturned. And I want to assure you that uh, those congratulating Smart Day and me amounts to congratulating an arm robber after a successful operation. It is um, temporal, it is evaporative. I will reclaim my mandate because I was voted for, I won the election, but through the instrumentality of violence and national conspiracy, this has been uh, tampered with. But I want to assure Nigeria that it is temporal. 
But I mean, you have always said uh, on different. I mean, at my on, on my program that uh, Senator Smart Adeyemi is your political wife. At some point, Senator Smart Adeyemi has said you are his political servant. That he actually groomed you in politics. But this time around, uh, he's defeated you. Is, is he not a political superiority in this case? I want to. I want to assure you that Smart Adeyemi will be my political um, wife. I started, I, I started politics before Smart Adeyemi, so how can you groom me when I was in politics before him? He came from nowhere as um, national president of um, IUG to, to politics in 2007. I've been in politics since 1998. I was a youth leader of the, of the Hope 93 election of um, 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 Chief Abiola. So when he start politics that he will groom me, how can he groom me from where? Academically, I'm better than him. He possess only a, a diploma from a monotechnic. I mean, I have, um, by the grace of God, over seven university degrees. Uh, so who is to groom who? Um, he rode on my back to become a senator of the Republic of Nigeria. So you, you are saying that you are going to court to challenge the election outcome of yesterday? Uh, inadvertently, yes. So on what grounds will you be doing this? There are plutonia of evidence, and he himself in his conscience, in his good conscience, knows that is sitting there temporarily and that is why they cannot even celebrate because they have conscience they have blood for through their veins and not kerosene they know that um, it's an hijack it's a robbery and unfortunately the corpse buried have his legs showing outside so as it stands right now uh because you, you if you look at it yourself and senator smart at ame are, are the only two people that have held or sat on that seat at uh, kogi west and Torah seat for almost 12 years are you saying you are better than him in terms of being a legislature representing the people of Kogi West? Uh, you know, Senate and uh, political appointment and political elective office is all about um, service. I have rendered service in four years. I have over 200 projects across Kogi West and the district, and I challenge Smart in his eight years in the Senate. What does he have to show the people of Kogi West? There's nothing for him to show. And to show my superiority over him is that himself, the governor, the federal government, all of them can't up against me, even when I was incarcerated by the police, to organize a recall against me. In my absence, the people of Kogi were stood for me, and their performance was a beautiful nonsense. They only got five, about 5%. Five <laughs> it was what the recall um, recorded. I debuted him in 2015, I debuted him in 2019, so I have a history of um, serial um, um, win over Smart Adeyemi. And this gang of that is open to even um, kids on the streets in Kogi State and in Nigeria. Every seen rational, reasonable Democrat in this country knows that uh, we were robbed in Kogi State, both at the governorship and the senatorial um, level. But I want to say that their victory is temporary and evaporated. Like I said, we are going to get it back. Senator Dino Melai, thank you so much for talking to us. The pleasure. Those are the views of Senator Dino Melaye. Let's get a view of Senator Smart Adeyemi, who has uh, been declared winner of that election. We've tried to get Senator Smart Adeyemi to speak on the preparations of this election and uh, going into the election. But well, tonight, we are, he's here, uh, and he joins me from our Abuja studio. Uh, Senator Smart Adeyemi, I guess uh, congratulations uh, might suffice or might be uh, right to say uh, on your victory. Uh, after I declared you winner yesterday at that election, congratulations. L let us start by getting your view on the outcome of that election, which Senator Dino Melaye said it is temporary and evaporative. Well, thank you very much, uh, L Let me first erase some misconceptions, uh, misrepresentation and presentation of Dino Melaye. I actually want to say this because uh, some innocent people may want to believe him. It's a pathological liar. Well, number two is the fact is that I, I, I hold a master's degree in public administration. I actually had a postgraduate diploma. And by all consideration and uh, looking at my track record, I think I'm successful with my academic qualifications. Now, having said this, let me begin by saying that I've been mandated by my people, uh, the people of Kogi West, to apologize to Nigerians. More importantly, the following people, the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 
um, President Muhammadu Buhari, the Vice President, uh, Yemi Oshibajo, uh, the Governor of my state, the very dynamic enterprise, a friend of mine and my brother, the Governor of Kogi State, Yaya Dozabelo, uh, General Lucia Gobasunjo, a host of other, the, the, the National Chairman of, uh, of our party, the APC, uh, the Sultan of Sokoto, uh, the families of MQ Abiola, notable Nigerian, the armed forces, the police, the security service, whom at one point or the other, Dino insulted. Dino tried to destroy these highly esteemed institutions and personalities, statesmen of our nation. It's not in our character in Kogi West to be the way he did. You know, when a town, a society is at peace, it's because the vagabond, they have not grown up. It's because the bastard, they have not grown up. Because when they are up, then they start challenging institutions. And of course, uh, you can see what, what Dino is doing. Dino is not a good representation of the poor of Kogi West. And I'm sure that uh, no Nigerian will want to have somebody like Dino as a senator. I mean, Nigeria never have Dino the kind of Dino as a senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Dino is an unfortunate development. It's a manifestation of the deficiency in our system. This is a guy without any track record. Dino has never worked anywhere before. He was on the street. How can he, how can he, how can he claim to have been politics before me? Okay, he said, I came from nowhere. I was national president of a, of a profession. He was national president of Touts and area boys on the street of Abuja. It's unfortunate that people like Dino can become a senator in Nigeria. May Nigerians never have the likes of Dino in the upper chamber. Let's, a senator let's, is a man of... Let's be, let's man be of careful of, with the use of language because this is national tele television and it's a family TV. Uh, we have people who are uh, children also who might be watching. Uh, let's, let's be careful with the use of language for the sake of uh, millions of people who are watching. Please go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I do, I, I do, I, I do. Let, let, let me begin by saying that, uh, who should be a senator? A man with a track record of service, a man who's highly educated, who's exposed, who is coming on to the Senate to share his experience, his education, his exposure, in order to move his nation to the next level. Not a rascal, not somebody who's been sorting statesmen. Now, you can be legislation and indeed politics should not be synonymous with rascality and insult. Okay, you can make your point without destroying and without uh, uh, trying to debase people. Men who have fought civil war to keep us one. Somebody like the president of Nigeria, somebody we should worship. This is a man who put his life on the line for us to be one. And somebody from nowhere is coming to. To, to, to say some terrible things about the president. Now, you can be a good politician without, without being insultive, okay? Uh, for me, I came from journalism background, and I had the privilege of being the national president, two times uh, president of the, of the NUG. And I served with honor and dignity. I was in the Senate for eight years. Within these eight years, I served with honor, with dignity, and above all, I was able to meet the needs and aspirations of my people. I will take time to mention some few things I did. Dino, had, Dino did nothing since we've been there, rather than buying cars and showing it to Nigerian people, rather than encouraging the youth as if rascality and idleness, idleness is, is a way of, is, is a source of livelihood, or should be a source of livelihood. Dino is a bad example for the gen coming generation. I'm sure Nigerians watching me, none of you people will want to have somebody like Dino as your senator. It's an insult. It's painful to the people of Kogi West. We are men of honor, men of, from Chikara to Shuku to Yamoe to Egbe. We are people of proven integrity. It's unfortunate. Indeed, Kogi State as a whole, we are people that are known across this country to be people of substance, okay? So it's unfortunate that we had a Dino. But Dino, having been emerged as the worst senator Nigeria ever produced, I pray that we never have somebody like Dino again in the National Assembly. I won't say this. I won the election based on the conviction of Nigerian people, of our people of my central district and people of my state, that, that, that the time had come for them to effect a change for good. I'm sure Nigerians across the globe, across the nation were happy, even those of them who are outside this country. They were happy that we have removed somebody who was displaying ill-gotten wealth. Dino had only one vehicle when he came in 2007. And eventually, when he started 2015, he was pulling vehicles to move around. I, I don't know why he has not been asked to give us his successful business he has done. Dino never did any business. He had no business. Rather than, you know, you know what the era boys do to get money. He should explain to Nigerians how he came about his wealth. I have a construction company. I have hotels. Before I became a senator. So it was not that I came from nowhere. And I came from a rich background. Having served as a journalist for about 22 years, I emerged as a national president. And you say I came from nowhere. Now, tell you know where he had been president of any association or any office he had worked. He has never worked in any office. Let's look at the issues right now. 
He no. said that he was being attacked on land, in the air, and spiritually. Did you spear read it? Worship God, must worship God in truth and in righteousness. Now, from his conduct and his utterances, I think you are in position to, ask, to, 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 to examine the two of us. For what purpose would anybody want to attack them? Do you know himself is extremely diabolical, morally bankrupt? Those so are who allegations. Want to I mean, purpose? Senator Smart, I mean, let's, of, of, of I, I said earlier, to let's be careful you. with the use of language. Because he said he won the election, and he said that your victory is temporary and evaporative. How would you defend that kind of statement? Because he had gone to Anek two times to raise a petition that the election is fraudulent and in the, in the first instance. And he's saying now that he won the election and he's going to court to retrieve his mandate. Those are the words of Senator Dino Melaye. Dino boasted yesterday that he had enough money to bribe the judges. He has said it to many people that he has gotten money to bribe judges. I don't have money to bribe judges. That accounted to why I couldn't win the previous one, I mean, 2015. Well, we leave that to judiciary that he has insulted on several occasions. Now, having said this, on what basis will anybody think Dino can win the election? Look, judge from his presentation, his utterances, is that dignified enough? Is that something that anybody wants to encourage? Now, if you ask him what has he done, he has done nothing, apart from attracting some few half-baked roads that today have been washed away. Now, what have I done as a senator? I went to the United States of America. I brought 22 ambulances. I brought 550 bed and mattresses, which I distributed in my central district. The present township stadium we are using in Kaba, I constructed it from the scratch. I went to Germany. I brought about 5,000 seats for that stadium. I built the stadium from the scratch. I gave over 5,000 students Bosley Award. These are things you can verify. I constructed a hospital in Igbaruku. I built an hospital from the scratch, 50 bed hospital. If you go to Odoeri, I built a hospital there. Igbagun, these are things you can verify. I'm saying it on live television. Let Dino come and show us what he has done personally. Dino has done nothing for our people. It's, it's unfortunate we have a Dino. Like I said, when the town is at peace, it's because those of them with questionable uh, upbringing and uh, 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 birth have not grown up. Dino is not a good example of anybody from our area. But having said this, I want to say this without any fear of contradiction, that even those who are following Dino, they will tell you that I did excellently well. I gave out over 400 cars, empowerment of my people. That is why I'm back. If I've not done anything tangible, you think people, our people are highly educated people. From Chikara, Koto, Goran, they are highly educated. So many of our people are retired generals. So if I've not done well, you think they will not have wage war against me? You know, he marched through the fraudulent means. You know, I didn't know certain things in politics before, I must confess. I didn't know that the level of corruption had degenerated to this level. That explains why people like Dino emerged. But when the whole nation rose, that the truth must be, must be, must be seen to be done, that explains why I won. Look at the margin, over 26,000. Now, what he's afraid of is that we are already studying the legal, the legal implication, that all the money Dino has collected, especially this, account, this half time, uh, few months he has spent, because the law says he, he has not been duly elected, he should refund the money to the federal government. We have told him we are going to take that up with him. Apart from letting go to the to tribunal, we will follow him to tribunal. If Dino is aware that tribunal will exist, why will he go to INEC? Why will he go to INEC to disturb the peace of INEC? If Dino is actually a legislator, if actually Dino is a senator, after election, you go to tribunal. Why go to INEC to make noise? But you see, out of the abundance of the heart, the mass speaker, this is a man who's or bringing and his way of life is questionable. It's full of contradictions. Senator he Smart, are there any? Senator Smart, are there any? Just, the just a moment, heard. briefly, just, briefly just before we go in, into our first break on the program. Senator Melaye said he sponsored over 200 bills, if I, if I can recollect the number. Uh, you are a lawmaker, you're not in the executive, but you've said uh, what you have purchased, the, the vehicles you've bought, the bursaries that you have given yeah. to your people. In times of bill, when you were in the National Assembly for eight years, what were the bills that you can point at that you sponsored and sailed through? Now, let me tell you that there were quite a number of bills I sponsored, and I mentioned the key ones for you. Before I came, on, I came into the National Assembly, don't forget, I was NUG National President. Under my leadership with other NGOs, we came up with this Freedom of Information Bill, which is a law now, Act. 
That bill, I got to the National Assembly, dusted it up, and fine-tuned it, and it was passed into law. So the freedom of information that you have today, be a law you have today, was, I was very key to the passage of that bill, number one. Number two, for over 30 years, we never had a revenue board in FCT for so many reasons. Today, there's a uh, revenue right. board. Sa Sa I Senator, the bill. Uh, please hold the thought. Yeah. Uh, we need to take our first break, but when we come back, we'll get your concluding thoughts on why you want to be, I mean, why, what you're going to be doing when you become, um, when you get sworn in or inaugurated uh, in the Senate. Well, up next on the program, the hate speech bill being proposed out of the Senate has generated a lot of reactions tonight. We look at the issues, plus the boring plans of the Guadi led federal government, and we allow Senator Smart at AME with his concluding thoughts on the program. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. Thank you so much, everyone, for staying with us. We've been talking about the Kogi West Senator election where INEC declared uh, Senator Smart Adeyemi the winner. We heard from Senator Dino Melaye with a telephone interview we had with him earlier on. Uh, our concluding moments now with Senator Smart Adeyemi, who is our guest live in our Abuja studio. Um, you were talking about some of the things you did, uh, but if I remember vividly, I know you mentioned the Freedom of Information Bill. If I remember vividly, uh, Honorable Abike Dabi Rewa was at the forefront of that. It was a House of Reps bill at that time. Is your name uh, uh, gazetted on that uh, FOIB uh, Act? Is it? Of course, yes. I told you that. That bill was presented when I was NU National President, myself and the media right agenda as a, a, in partnership. We came to the National Assembly with that bill, and that bill never got uh, passed until I came to the Senate. And uh, my, my former political servant, who said I never passed any bill, I have to my credit more than 15 to 20 bills. It is not the number of uh, presentation of bills that matter, it's the number of bills that has assented into law. You can, you can pass. 200 bills. Once you know assented to by the president, it gets Let, back let's to the National Assembly. Let's clarify it, Senator Smart Assembly. Assembly. So, so Is your name, because I know that that bill, FOI bill, it was a, a pop, because as a journalist, I'm aware of the progress and the development of that bill at the time. It was a real war before it got passed. Senate uh, Honorable Abike Dabri was at the forefront. But I'm asking, because you were in the Senate, but it was a House of Reps bill. Is your name on that no, gazetted no, no. Act as at the time it was assented I by the president at the time. I, I can tell you that that bill was not House of Assembly, House of Rest bill. It was it was brought to the National Assembly by the NUJ, of which I was national president. We work on that bill together, and that bill came to the National Assembly. You can call the National Secretary of the NUJ at that time. He's still the national president, um, the national secretary. He's still there. That bill was a joint bill. We pass it in the Senate. Well, of course, Abike Dabri is, is my colleague of mine. He was, she was in the House of Reps. I was in the Senate. I'm talking about the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I'm not talking about the House of Reps. As far as the Senate is concerned, you can call Senator, our former Senate President, Senator David Mack. He's going to tell you the right play. And if we can still get some of the tape, on many occasions, while the bill was on, I, was, I became a bit emotional about the passage. Okay, so on several occasions, the Senate President had to call me to order. Because I wanted the bill to be passed by all me because I was involved in bringing this bill and working on this bill to the National Assembly. I just had to mention that. There are other bills. The State of the Nation address, there are quite a number of bills. The, the FCT... Uh, 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 emergency uh, agency. There are quite a number of bills that we pass. I told you that passage of bill is not synonymous with uh, uh, approval of the bill. Once the bill is passed, it's left to the, the president to sign. And on many occasions, we don't have time to review why the president refused to assent his signature. So the bill gets back to the National Assembly. So what new senators majority do in order to have bills to their credit is to dust those bills back and see whether those bills will pass. Most of the bills, they did not claim it. They were bills that already been presented and represented and represented that was not passed into law. It's just trying to manipulate you and the viewers who may not know the process of passage of bill. What is important is not the number of bills that passed through, but the number of your bills that have been assented to that becomes a law of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And to my credit, I can give you up to 10 of those bills that work through my work on with my staff 
that was passed into law. So what he's saying, it is not true that I never passed any bill. That is not true. The All fact right. of the uh, matter without, is... Without taking any credit away from you, we just need to set the record straight uh, because a whole lot of issues around the FOI bill, we can go on and on and talk about it, but I will allow you to rest for a moment because I'm so much aware of that, of what happened at the time. But let me ask you before uh, we go on, the, uh, on what uh, you have done, Let's look at what you'll be doing. Just briefly, tell us, now that you have been declared winner and in the next few days you'll be inaugurated, what are your plans? What do you think you'll be giving back to the people who voted you, especially from Kogi West? What are your plans? Well, one of the things that was agitating my mind and one of the reasons why I left the PDP then was because there are quite a number of federal government projects that were begging for attention. And the good news is that President Mohamed Bouhari has started attending to some of this project. Number one is iron and steel complex in, in Najakuta. It's the life of our industrial development. This is one project I'm going to join my colleagues to ensure that all the funding and support that is required from National Assembly is given so that iron and steel complex can take off. Two, we have quite a number of roads begging for federal government attention. We have uh, Shuku Abugi, up to Kakanda, those areas are very fertile areas, but there are no roads linking to those areas. Tabatulori Road, which I started, I monitored uh, when I was in the Senate, it got stopped in Nayeturu. Incidentally, that was Dino's uh, hometown. But for the four years he was in the Senate, he was ready hand, passing budget of other areas. He forgot Kabatu Lori from Nayeturu to, 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 to Egbe. That road is begging for attention. This road, I'm going to, um, this approach I want to focus on. Now, talking about the nation. I hold the strong view that we need to have strong laws, punishment for those who believe in corruption, for those who believe, to sabot who believe in sabotaging the economy. I want, if you, if you can recall, when I was in the Senate, I once sponsored a bill where I was suggesting life imprisonment of capital punishment for corruption in Nigeria. The bill is still in the National Assembly. And when I visited Mr. President from a year or so ago, I mentioned it to him that I won't sponsor the bill on asking the Senate to either adopt a life imprisonment, and I hold the view that we can establish mechanized farming in every state of Nigeria. Once you are guilty of corruption, you go to that farm and you remain there for life. Nigerians will stop putting their hands in public form. I believe that this country can only be at peace when every Nigerian is guaranteed to the square me and he has a roof over his head. That can only be done when we face corruption headlong. Yeah. That is my belief. Senator Smart Adeyemi, congratulations again for your victory, and we wish you the very best uh, in the coming days as you assume uh, that uh, uh, seat and the Senate. Thank you so much for talking to us tonight. It's my pleasure being here. Thank you. Senator Smart Adeyemi, winner of uh, the Kogi West Senatorial election.